my race, because of my gender, and because of my disability. Yep. Emotions from CDC employees frustrated with discrimination reaching a boiling point. I got stories like you would not believe. More than 100 of them packing a room in the DeKalb County NAACP branch Saturday morning. You've been dealing with it for 40 years. Teresa Hardy is the county's NAAC president. She helped organize the forum. What compelled me is the fact that these are people who really love working at the CDC. However, their mistreatment is causing other issues that they're unable to deal with. Complaints about racial bias. I am a victim of that type of yes. discrimination. It just happened to me. And employees with disabilities who claim the agency does not provide reasonable accommodations. We are not served by our own public health agency. Yes. In November, the 11 Alive investigators not only uncovered nearly 1,000 employee discrimination complaints over the past decade, but internal reports identifying the agency knew minority sentiment was getting worse, but doing little to address the problem. And also want to thank Andy and 11 Alive for giving us the visibility that we could never, we've never been able to get. Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson attended the meeting. The only thing that I can do as a uh, congressman is to voice their complaints to the uh, officials in the uh, House of Representatives and the appropriate committees to let them know what's happening. Agency leadership asked to attend but did not accept the invitation. Former CDC agency director Brenda Fitzgerald, who resigned this month, never responded to 11 Alive's findings. But in this agency video obtained by 11 Alive, she did acknowledge fears of retaliation for filing a complaint. You should not have to be concerned about bringing your issues forward to the CDC leadership and to the EEO office. The entire leadership team respects your right to do so. Federal employees working at our nation's leading health agency. I talked to one young lady a couple of times a week just trying to console her. Hoping Congress can help them with a problem they believe is infecting its workforce. Because I have a heart for CDC, but it's broken mine. Andy, a lot of emotion in that story. So what is the end goal for the NAACP in, in this forum? So over the next few weeks, they're going to be collecting as many complaints as possible. Their goal is to meet with leadership at the CDC. If they don't get any resolution there, they will take this issue all the way to Washington, D.C., and they are not ruling out a class action lawsuit. And I'm sure you're going to be following it every step of the way. You got it. All right. Thanks, Andy. Mm -hmm.